Uh, Mesa, what, what do you think of the game in terms of how it plays? Like maybe the overall game design, the gunplay, the driving, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. So the one part of the game that's not a broken promise is the way the, the is the, the 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 multi-tiered way you can approach just about every mission. Um, the fact that you know you can focus on hacking and stand in one spot and complete a mission without you know just by standing there, or you can stealth your way and go guns a blazing. Um, what I approaches think, have you done? Um. I'm 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 a mixture, so I'll sneak in, do a little hacking, do a little headshots, you know. Um, uh, try to keep try to keep low profile. Every once in a while, I'll go screw it. I'm just gonna go, you know. I'm gonna go loud, pull out my biggest gun, and start going. Um, but um, but yeah, like the fact, and also like um, a lot of the environments. So like I bought um, so one of the augments that you can get is a double jump. And I've been able to get a double jump, and that has allowed me to basically traverse the entire city like in a completely different way. And so I can yeah. just hop up to windows that I'm normally not supposed to be able to get to. I can I can sneak through places, jump over fences with no issues whatsoever. And it has definitely allowed um uh a completely different mindset when, when approaching these missions, and it's it's really good. I just I wish the upgrade wasn't so expensive because it's like one of the most expensive upgrades in the whole game. <laughs> is it an actual augment you have to get from a uh, from a Ripper dock? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but it's extremely expensive. Like it's like forty k, I think. <laughs> yes, it's forty five. Yeah, it. like it's like one of the most expensive upgrades in 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 the game. I think going back to what you mentioned about like how you c- the, kind of the open ended approach they can do with stealth, guns a blazing, and hacking. Mm-hmm. Um. I, I I would probably disagree. Like it, the options are there. I just think that the former two are, are incredibly uh, underwhelming. Like the tech is uh, for, for those that don't know. You have uh, RAM, which kind of tells you like uh, each skill uses like a certain amount. You can do certain things, mm-hmm. but and and I didn't spec like super crazy into this. I did a little oh, bit at the beginning. There's a lot but, you can do. But like, yeah, it, it came down to yes, I can do like let's say seventy six damage to this person, and or I can just shoot him in the face with one bullet and get the same, get the or, exact same result. Or you can craft the suicide quick hack and cause someone to kill themselves and stuff like that. Right. And um, and even for the stealth, I would say your verbs are are fairly limited. Like you can distract, you can blind people, mm-hmm. but it comes down to because that's that's what I like about like like stealth games that are that are catered to that like let's say like Dishonored like Deus Ex you're incentivized to do stealth because the combat is hard and enemies can fuck you up really easily. Um, even when I'm even when I wasn't fully specced in combat, like I had a shit ton of stamina, I had a lot of health, or I could re- regenerate my stamina by running into a room and just knifing people without a care in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, I the game on normal is just far too easy and then on hard it's just too bullet spongy so so it came down to basically i can spend a lot of time doing the slow and careful approach with stealth or using tech abilities but at the end of the day it's extremely less efficient unless i want to like purposefully handicap the way that i play so if so if anyone has heard me speak about how much i really enjoyed watchdogs legion as of recently my weird gaming thing is when open worlds give me multiple reasons, multiple ways to do things as Watch Dogs Legion did. There's like eight different ways to, to do every mission in Legion that includes story stuff, um, which, which, which Cyberpunk does. Like Mesa said, you have like four different ways that you can do every mission in the game. But what Cyberpunk does, which I'm not a really big fan of, is there's certain side missions where they implore you to go in stealth when to me the stealth isn't really that good like for opening missions it is like like i was able to do the entirety of the opening mission in the apartment building totally stealth never got caught once i i had a great time but as i was doing certain side quests throughout the world and they're like hey we need you to break into this like police controlled area and put this little chip into this dude's car and throughout the entire mission it says oh you should stealth it we don't want getting caught we don't want this to happen 
and just stealthing it was fucking impossible because there were robots that that you couldn't stealth around. There were people that were placed in such terrible ways to where I couldn't stealth. Right, and like the level design like, didn't accommodate for it. Yeah, and it's like stealth wasn't Ooh. mandatory. I'm using like finger quotes. Like stealth wasn't mandatory, but you got paid less if you didn't do it stealthily. And then they kind of chastised you. Like your person's like, oh, well, we wanted to get this done quietly. At least you got it done. And then they just throw coins at you. And I'm like, I couldn't stealth it if I wanted to. And it's like, I have a lot of points in stealth because there's points that you're more quiet when you run. Uh, you walk faster when you crouch. Like I have points and all that stuff. But then the game's like, oh, hey, we need you to stealth in this area. And it's kind of impossible to. <laughs> well, I feel like it's um, also counterintuitive in the sense that, th that there's just straight up going to be sections where you can't stealth. You have to fight. Mm -hmm. And I if you're dumping so. all these points in a stealth, you're going to be extremely underpowered when you do get in those situations. And even like, uh, and all the other upgrade systems... Um, like, like when I started, I was mainly going shotguns and then I went a little bit into melee and a little bit into rifles, but it's, if you want to be efficient at it, you basically have to dump all your points into like have a specific you? thing. Like if, if you don't spec have fully like into the shotgun, um, you're, you're kind of hampering your maximum potential. Like you have to pick one thing if you want to be good at it. Did you, did you guys upgrade your operating systems? Yes, yeah, I, did. I did. Okay, because yeah, because like once I once I you know got it to like a purple one, I was fine pretty much hacking just about anything. But yeah, it's just, just just like at least with the upgrades for me, it was um, I've I I'm basically being pigeonholed to complete my shotgun destiny, whatever, yeah. um, because otherwise you just spread too far thin so like so at this point stealth like you, you can still do like the baseline stealth but like the higher echelons of stealth and uh and tech abilities are kind of beyond me at this point yeah like a good example of how when i was talking about earlier how the game like forces you to, to be stealth in areas that you really can't and again a total uh trans transparency here i don't know if like it says you're supposed to do stealth in this mission but the game knew that you couldn't it's, I'm, and I'm not going to spoil it because um, I'm not going to spoil this game for anyone. Uh, it's the opening hotel mission when Jackie mentions like, hey, we should try to do this stealthy. We should try to do this quietly. I couldn't. <laughs> I killed like the first four people stealthy. And then the game I, ended up spawning people in ways that I couldn't. And I was just like, uh. That's basically what happened. I stealth like for maybe like the first floor or so. And then after that, just yeah, guns blazing. Really? Yeah. But I, then, yeah. I stealthed it. <laughs> oh well, well look at you. I couldn't do it. Like, and I tried really hard too. And the game does does the thing where it gives you like no ammo throughout the entire area. So I was just running past every. That's <laughs> why you got to embrace. You have to embrace melee. Just run at people's faces, chop them up. You barely even lose health. You're good to go. Trying to kill, uh, trying to kill as everyone. soon as I got the mantis blades, I did. <laughs> Like um, just to go back to it before I toss it to Dio, um, it it just feel I don't like it when games put upgrade points in a specific weapons because I like like I'm invested in shotguns, I'm invested in rifles, uh, so if I get a really cool pistol or sniper rifle, I'm just like sorry, I'm not going to use you because my upgrade points don't don't apply to you. Like that that's basically a dead um category to me. Uh, Dio, what what are some of your gameplay thoughts? So uh, going back to what you guys were talking about, uh, stealth, one of my bigger problems with the game, and it's it's a, a symptom of the bigger problem that I really don't think that patches will be able to really fix the game. But like for me, the game is really mediocre and bugs and whatnot, or a better UI for items in the inventory and whatnot won't really fix it. But uh, for example, there were some missions, uh, the missions I did for the Voodoo Boys, I had to go into a van and the, the mission and the, the fixer asked you to do it stealthily. So I went and did it, but the way I play uh, games stealthily that offer me quick saves, that I quick save a fucking lot. So <laughs> what ended up happening is that if, Let's say I kill the the less uh, sentry uh, soldier whatnot and saved, 
and because uh, the 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 soldiers there the enemies were going to their loops uh their how do you say it stealth routines maybe yeah yeah their routines yeah the path. Uh, like their walking path yeah their walking path but say i was found by some enemy and i i like i ah, know i don't want to be detected I, I i'm going to reload the game i went and reloaded the game and when i reloaded the 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 position was not reset to where the last time i say like he wasn't where i saw him being when i said he was at the at the literal start of his routine so oh, wow. there, there are lots of missions that i was able to basically cheese the whole uh, stuff because they didn't really attain to the routines where i said so like there was a, a mission uh, really far into the game where I self stealthily downed a guy, and and another soldier that was in front of him saw him, saw me uh, downing the guy. I reloaded the game, and when I went and did it again, the guy who was supposed to saw me again was like far back into the 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 place we were, so he wasn't even be, even even an hour close to to us. So what the fuck? Right? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, the gunplay... Like, to be fair, uh, the gunplay in games like Deus Ex or Dishonored aren't really good, in my opinion. I, but, would, I would argue that's on purpose. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, Deus Ex, yeah, yeah. totally. you're not supposed to run, a, run around like Call of Duty. Totally. Well, but like, I, mean, it's like, I'm, I would also argue as someone who played Dishonored Violent, which I found out the hard way, that was not the way to do it. Um, I still feel like, because I, uh, Splinter Cell Conviction, I'm going fucking back here. Splinter Cell Conviction, while it is a stealth game, it gives you options to play with guns normally, and it's good gunplay. I was just replaying yeah. that game about a month ago. It's decent gunplay. Dishonor, you don't use guns, but it's decent, like, archery stuff. It's decent this. I feel like even if a game is considered quote-unquote stealthy, you should still have good gunplay for those of us totally, like me, totally. who is legitimately shit at stealth, <laughs> but still want to play your game and at least attempt it. Like, say, if I attempt stealth, and I end up not being able to do it, I want to still be able to beat a level just going, ah, just like shooting things because I have no other option. I would disagree with that. And that if we look at something, I guess well, you're not making games is for every, everyone, then if, you, if you're forcing people to play your game a specific way. I, that's that's not exactly what I'm jumping to. Like, if we go to something like Deus Ex, where you cannot really take many bullets to save your life, and obviously there's difficulty options, I'm always going to advocate for uh, accessibility options and toggles and whatnot. But uh, not having good controls is kind of like the basis of even older games like Resident Evil that the tank controls. Like, the entire game kind of revolves around that. Um so the way that Deus Ex tackles it is like, yes, the gunplay is not great to incentivize you into stealth. And there's other abilities you can unlock, uh, such as literally exploding every single person in the near vicinity with uh, <laughs> hockey pucks. But um, so it, it's, it's kind of like two different levers to like kind of um, counteract it. Um, you can have great gunplay, which also means you can just kind of run and gun. You can have... Um, lesser gunplay to incentivize you to avoid using it but on the other hand you also have how hard are the enemies to kill um so you can kind of like adjust those as necessary but in terms of those i'm not necessarily too bothered by the gunplay being bad uh in the case of cyberpunk uh it's i i don't believe that's a f necessarily a functional stealth game and so, like, the primary focus, at least the way I'm playing it, and it seems the way that most people seem to be, is basically just a first-person shooter. So if your main verbs are going to be shooting, I would argue your main verbs in Deus Ex are not shooting. Your main verb is stealth and hacking and whatnot. Uh, like, yeah, that's, that, but that's how I'm playing Cyberpunk. <laughs> well, then you're playing it wrong. <laughs> but um, just to go off that real quick... Um, so, so if your main verb is shooting, 
then yes, that main verb should be more than functional. Like I, I played with a gamepad and a controller and we can go into like the menus. I, those menus are not designed for a controller whatsoever. Um, and like, obviously, yes, it does feel better to play with the mouse. It's on 60 FPS, whatever, but it just doesn't have much of an oomph or impact behind it. It's, it's, it's okay. And on controller, it, I don't know. It's just okay. But um, I'm sorry, I went off on a giant tangent there. If you want to go back to what you were saying, Dia. So what I meant is like, I recall a lot of people when Cyberpunk was first announced that uh, the game looked like it was going to be Deus Ex, but in an actual open world. So that was the comparison, comparison I was trying to make. Because like the, the stealth doesn't really... I wouldn't even say that it, it isn't satisfying, but I don't... Like you said earlier, we don't have enough verbs in stealth. Like I don't think going uh, into a men menu to to hack people is satisfying. I think it sucks. It feels cumbersome. Um, and the shooting, while it isn't bad, like I love Spec Ops the line. So who am I to judge you good shooting or not? <laughs> but uh, uh, you're not the only one, Dio. Spec Ops rocks. So that means you'd be fighting both of us. <laughs> oh, I love it, but it's like the shooting is no, no. Real. I mean, like they would fight you and me, but oh, okay, okay. But yeah, <laughs> so the shooting, which harkens to what you said, is is obviously the focus of the game, given the plethora of weapons we we have on the game. But it don't really. Besides, I don't know the shotgun. Most doesn't really feel really feel satisfying and. Given this type of game, I would expect that uh, headshots would would be more effective, but they, at least in my experience, they were not really. So, I don't know. Weird little and tangent. By default, you don't kill enemies. They all just kind of get boo-boos and fall over. Like, you kind of have to shoot them again while they're down to actually, like, kill them. That, kill them. that never happened to me. But again, I, I, I've had really good luck with, with uh, gun drops, and every gun that I'm using is uh, purple. And they do something specific. Like I have a gun that sets people on fire, so I literally only need to shoot people like twice, and then I can just run away, and then they die behind me. <laughs> Says go pew pew, and they get set on fire. Pew pew, another one sets it on fire. I run to the next room. I get the experience because 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 they've died in the back room <laughs> without and me having to be there. I have a friend that's playing a ricochet, like focused game. So he'll he'll do like headshots from the other room, and they'll they can't find him because he's not in the room. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I will say though about the hacking, because I really want to do hacking more, I actually have upgraded my hacking to where I can see through walls where the like money hacks are, so I could just like pinpoint and just go in and just like get a lot of money. I and Mesa will probably see this differently as he's playing like a uh, hacky gameplay. Uh, I don't know if you other guys would like think the same thing, but to me, the hacking is kind of confusing when you're hacking enemies because so I, many options pop up and I'm like, okay. It, and I always seem to pick the option that does Jack squat. They don't <laughs> even like, give oh, you like, um, do something. they don't even give you like a little bit of like of a text blurb and because it, it slows yeah. everything down as you hover over someone, yeah, you but it doesn't tell you exactly what it's doing you have to learn by example what everything does and that part really sucks i think I, I like the main hacking mini game they have like if you're hacking a terminal go down oh, the yeah. lines find the I combinations i don't like doing that in the middle of combat that just like puts a giant halt in the middle of it yeah oh, yeah so. i mean i like I'm i never... like doing it when you're hacking to get m m m money i also like that the hack doesn't start right away that it lets you look at the grid first mm -hmm. and lets you like plan your route. Like that's one of my favorite parts is I can, I can go to get some cash, look at the grid be like, okay, down three over four, down three over two. Like, I like how you can plan it out. Like, I don't know if that's like an OCD thing for me where I'm, where I'm like staring at it for like five minutes and I'm like, all right, I got this. But it's like, yeah, when it happens in combat, which is why I never hack turrets or anything, because I'm like, well, I'm a one woman I think, army. I, don't I think that's anything. like one of the specific instances where I exclusively hack is to disable turrets, because I typically don't use my hacking on the regular basic enemies. 
Um, like I, use, I'm sorry, go ahead, Dio. I did use hacking a bit until the first half of the game, but as soon as I got the the gorilla arms, me, the melee on the game and the gorilla arms basically trivialized the whole game. Like melee is completely broken in this game. I've been just running around oh, yeah. with my knife better than my assault rifle. Just go around, smack everyone. Good to go. Yeah. Oh, dude. Like, I... No spoilers, but the the final boss of the game, uh, not saying who it is or whatever, but uh, halfway through the fight, I I went, hmm, what if I try the gorilla arms? And I basically still walk him to death. Like, it was ridiculous. <laughs> I, I just started punching him, and I used uh, an item... Uh, a giant baseball bat I had and basically killed like that. So being quite honest, the, the bosses on this game are easily the worst of the genre, like by far. I think even, I liked them because it added a bit of spice to it. In, uh, even worse than that one boss and was it Mankind Divided that could like that could break your game or something? There was like, a boss uh, in Mankind Divided. The final one? Yeah, where it's like, pick the specific dialogue option, you would die as soon as the fight started. Okay, okay. That one is also I was like, hold up. I remember that boss. People hated but it. I, I do mean from a, from a me mechanic uh, perspective. Mm -hmm. Like, they... It's like they, they didn't learn anything uh, from Deus Ex. Like, they, they also don't have really good bosses, but they feel... Maybe worse? I don't know. I think at least Deus Ex fixed it a bit in the um, director's cut of uh, Human Revolution, oh, where they gave... Where, where, yeah, they, they gave you uh, a lot more things. options the way to to approach it. Like, you can hack turrets in the area, you can unlock, like, gas vents, oh, etc., etc. Oh, wait. I remember now. It was if, if you went to that boss fight without turning off your augmentations or something? Or it, something yeah. specific? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it doesn't make it impossible, but um, I, I, think it's really more, I think it's more story-wise, isn't it? Because I always went into it without it. But the one thing I will say about getting the augmentations in this game, which I really like, which I hope more games with like upgrades do this, is you can find some of the more expensive augmentations literally for free. Like we were, we were talking about this before the show started. Like he, the, those like mantis blades, the really cool, like which I actually found out are based off of mantis shrimp, and not praying mantises, by the way, which is one of my favorite things. Um, you don't have to pay like twenty thousand for those. You can find them free. Like if you just go to this specific area early in the game, like there's no level cap on them, and you open a chest. No, do not even fight the boss because the boss is like. <laughs> level 30 you can get those completely free you don't need to put like money down on them and i like when games do that because it rewards you for just opening shit it's like oh if you yeah. think that this is all for nothing oh my god you actually just found like a twenty thousand dollar upgrade completely free like i love when games quote unquote reward you for just searching through stuff and or it's like, hey, you finished this quest that you didn't think was in, was important, and then a couple hours later, you you get an in-game call where it's like, hey, thank you for doing this. Go to this specific Ripper dock. Here's a free up upgrade. Like I love when games reward you just for like searching, just for doing random th shit that you don't think is important that ends up rewarding you down down the line. I agree. Dio, how many random car chase like set pieces are in the story since you've beat it i think the only car chase is that one in the beginning there's one in really the beginning there's one in the badlands there's, there's like two separate two or three separate ones you do in the badlands like you gotta remember that i basically only did the missions for for the ending so i didn't really do any side quests so if those were side quests and didn't really get into many missions what are, what are you were asking like the only i guess the reason i bring it up is because um i i found them to be incredibly scripted where you can be plugging a crap ton of ammo into a person like you can see their health bar mm -hmm. it's doing literally nothing like it, it's you have to wait until you reach the certain threshold yeah. of the map before something happens and that just 
totally <laughs> brought me out of it. Um. Oh no! You actually do a, a mission like that with uh, Takemura, I believe is his name. Like when when he saves you right at the beginning of the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there yeah. There's a that bunch one. of guys in motorcycles. I felt the same way you did. Feels like it's more in, way more scripted than it needed to be. 